This is the first four-stroke internal combustion engine made by Nikolaus Otto in 1876. From that moment up until now, the four-stroke cycle remains to be the working principle for majority of the internal combustion engine produced in the world. Over these 150 years, the internal combustion engine had undergone many changes. It became more powerful and compact, but most important of all, the internal combustion engine is now more efficient and refined. Talking about efficiency, even the most modern fuel efficient engine has an efficiency figure less than 50%. Let's have a look at the different energy consumption aspect of internal combustion engine. Even after all these advancements in technology, almost 63% of the input energy is lost as heat into the cooling system. Why is that? The answer is simple. Because almost all of the modern day engines are still operating on the same old auto cycle. Several researches and studies are being conducted all over the world in order to solve this problem. And of course, some of them have paired off with some really cutting edge products. Today, we are going to take a look at one of those. The Ilmor 5-stroke engine. The concept of 5-stroke was first invented by a Belgian professor named Dr. Gerard Smits. The prototype was built by Ilmor Engineering in UK. The interesting fact about this engine is, it is very similar to 4-stroke engine in terms of working and architecture and it is known as complex as other engine concepts. This engine has a 750cc turbocharged inline 3 cylinder configuration. This engine can be divided into two sections, high pressure area and low pressure area. The high pressure area has two cylinders each displacing 150cc with 60mm bore and 53mm stroke. It has a compression ratio of 7 is to 1, which is very low compared to the conventional 4 stroke engine. The low pressure area has a large 449cc single cylinder with identical bore and stroke of 83mm. The prototype engine has 5 main parts, a specially designed crankshaft to handle the different masses, 2 small high pressure cylinder, 1 large low pressure cylinder, 2 flow transfer passages and a high pressure turbocharger. As mentioned earlier, this engine operates based on 5 stroke cycle. The working of this engine is very similar to 4 stroke engine. During the suction stroke, the vacuum created inside the piston pulls the compressed air fuel mixture into the cylinder as the piston moves to bottom dead center. In the next compression stroke, the piston pushes the mixture to top dead center to compress it, where it gets ignited. In the following expansion stroke, the increased pressure and temperature pushes the piston downwards to bottom dead center. Usually, at this point, this will be the start of extra stroke in 4 stroke engine. But in this case, it is the start of second expansion stroke where the piston pushes the burnt gases into the low pressure cylinder through the flow transfer passage for further expansion. In this stroke, the burnt gases expand further in the low pressure cylinder and then pushed out of the cylinder during the exhaust stroke. To fully understand the benefit of this engine, first of all, we need to consider the major constraint of four stroke cycle. If we want higher efficiency, that is maximum conversion of thermal energy into mechanical work, we need to use high expansion ratio this is of course is limited by mechanical and thermal stresses. On the other hand, if you want higher power density that is more BHP per liter, we have to use low compression ratio. But unfortunately in 4 stroke engine, the expansion ratio is equal to the compression ratio. So theoretically, we cannot have high power and efficiency at the same time, right? Well, in the case of 5 stroke engine, yes we can. In 5 stroke engine, higher efficiency still requires high expansion ratio. Also, high power density still requires low compression ratio. But fortunately, in 5-stroke engine, the expansion ratio is not equal to the compression ratio, simply due to the low pressure cylinder. So, if we summarize, the 5-stroke engine has got two major benefits over the 4-stroke engine. The first one is the efficiency. As we know, higher expansion ratio is essential for higher efficiency. And this engine got just that. This engine has got an expansion ratio of 1 is to 15 which is by far the largest expansion ratio in any internal combustion engine. So, it won't have to break a sweat in converting all that massive thermal energy embedded in the highly compressed intake air into the mechanical work. The second one is the power. Obviously, this one can be expected since the engine is turbocharged. But the power density level that this engine have is simply crazy. After the prototype, the Ilmor Engineering developed another more refined version of this engine which developed 245 brake horsepower. At the same time, it was about 16 to 32 percentage more fuel efficient than a 1.2 liter engine. 245 bhp from a 750 cc engine is just insane by any standards. But like everything else, this one has also got its downsides. First of all, since it has two different sized pistons, a careful mass equilibration is required in the design of the crankshaft. 
The second one is the power regulation. The power regulation is much more complex and sophisticated in this engine due to that extremely high intake boost pressure. But it can overcome with a combination of a variable geometry turbo with waste kit and a varying air fuel ratio mixture. The third and the final downside is the size of the cooling system. Due to extremely high intake boost pressure, the cooling system has to be big and efficient to deal with the high pressure and temperature in the high pressure cylinder. Let's hope that the internal combustion engine won't lose its game to the electric motors in the future.